I think. Okay. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I don't know how many people are on the call now. But uh, so, so Assalamualaikum. Uh, I see there's some people uh, on the line. So Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, my name is Nana. And um, I'm, I welcome you all for this webinar today. And um, we'll see uh, who's going to be here very soon, uh, Reverend Fletcher. But uh, I'm just going to go through uh, what we're going to uh, talk about today. And we're going to talk about the People's Climate March that is upcoming, uh, who's, which is going to happen. Uh, in Washington DC on April 29th. So we only have like about two weeks uh, uh, to uh, mobilize the Muslim participation on the People's Climate March. And um, so before that, I'm going to go through uh, what we are going to talk about today is going, so this webinar is being recorded and all the lines are muted. So uh, first I'm going to go through the introduction and then like, we're going to talk about why it is uh, important for Muslim to participate. And then uh, we, if we have time, at the end, we're going to have a Q&A. Okay, so Bismillah. So uh, before that, I'm going to uh, introduce, uh, like one of our speaker is going to be uh, Reverend Fletcher Harper. He's supposed to be here, but I think he's still on the way. So, uh, so then uh, he's the director of uh, Green Faith, uh, an Episcopal priest, and um, he's, uh, he's been in, in uh, uh, a priest in New Jersey for 10 years before he joining uh, Green Faith. So I see Reverend Fletcher is uh, here. And so uh, I'm going to unmute you guys. Um, um, Reverend Fletcher, unmute also. Okay. So... Uh, Oh, okay. So, so uh, he's also an Asoka Fellow and also uh, an author of Green Faith, Mobilizing God's People to Protect the Planet. And just recently, uh, Reverend Fletcher uh, was the awardee of Abu Talib Ali uh, Award from the Golden Minaret Awards, which is the American Muslim Accomplishment uh, Foundation. So that's uh, Reverend Fletcher. And then... Uh, and then we're going to have uh, Imam Safet Katovic, who is uh, American Muslim with the Bosnian Anglo uh, background, and he's the uh, he's he was involved a lot in uh, in the Bosnia Task Force during the Bosnia War, and he's an, uh, a chaplain in the Drew University in New Jersey, and he's a Green Faith Fellow and a chairman of the Green Muslim of New Jersey, and uh, also a member of the Islamic Society of North America Green Masjid Task Force. And he's the person behind the drafting of the Islamic Glo uh, Global Climate Declaration. And then uh, another one is myself. Uh, I'm, I'm originally from Indonesia. I'm also a Green Faith Fellow, and I'm also coordinating a Green Faith um, outreach uh, at the moment for the Muslim uh, community. And I used to work for the Worldwide Life Fund uh, during the tsunami effort uh, recovery. I'm a climate reality leader and I'm involved with a lot of uh, urban garden in Southern California. So without further ado, I would like to invite Reverend Fletcher Harper to give a background uh, on the People's Climate March and why faith uh, community needs to be to be part of that. Reverend Fletcher. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks so much, Nana. Can you hear me okay? Yes, yes. Good, good. Well, it's a real privilege to be with you all. Um, Salam alaikum. And thank you for the chance to spend just a few minutes with you. I'll, I'll only be with you for a few minutes because I'm on, I'm on my way to <clears throat> to Monday Thursday church services. I'm, I'm Christian and it's Holy Week for us. And <clears throat> I'm sorry not to be able to stay the, the full length of time. Really appreciate uh, your time. Um, I think that, you know, in, in 2014, it was our, our privilege to work with Imam Katavik and with Sister Nana uh, to mobilize and with also with Sister Sahar Asalani uh, to, to 
um, see the, the Muslim community be a really important part of the faith contingent at the People's Climate March in, in New York. And I'll never forget the, the wonderful inflatable uh, masjid that, that Imam Safet was able to bring that I think uh, Muslim scouts use uh, on different outings that, that they do. And it, it symbolized then the importance and the presence of the, the Muslim community as a, as a key part of the multi-faith contingent. And um, what was true in 2014 is, is even more true now. Um, it is our privilege to be able to, to march with members of the Muslim community. Um, our our multi-faith contingent is united in understanding the, the profoundly unjust and uh, cruel treatment that the Muslim community has received at the hands of the new administration. Uh, we stand united with you. It is our privilege to have you as our, our brothers and sisters in faith. And um, I bring greetings from the other members of the faith contingent for the march. And we, we would be honored if the Muslim community would, would lead the faith contingent, the multi-faith contingent, um, as we march together. Um, people of faith uh, recognize that the earth is a gift. We recognize that it is our responsibility to care for our common home. Um, we realize that, uh, in the words of the Quran, that there is a, a divinely given balance uh, that the earth is in, and that we have put that balance out of balance, and that it's our job to, to set that balance right again, and that we all need to wake up to that responsibility, and to recognize the entire earth as a, a place of prayer. Um, we'll be marching together as people of faith, joining with our colleagues from the labor movement, from the environmental movement, from the environmental justice movement, from student groups, from frontline communities, from indigenous peoples groups, um, because we share this common home and that we know that together we can build a movement that will create a renewable energy future, that will give um, clean air for our communities, that will give the energy that we all need to power our lives, and that will create good family sustaining and uh, living wage jobs that can help rebuild the middle class in the United States and that can help us deliver on our commitment to the world through the commitments we made to the, the Paris Climate Agreement. Um, you know, I, I think that what's most important at this time, and I know that Sister Nana and Imam Saad will describe this, is that um, an important part of the march as we go down Pennsylvania Avenue is that when we get to the White House together, we'll all be encircling the White House. And that'll be a moment of prayer for people of faith. And we hope that, that you will join with us sort of reclaiming uh, that space as a, a space that belongs to the people, that is a space that is consecrated for justice. Um, and we are... Um, so grateful and also counting on the prayers of the Muslim community at that time to, uh, uh, to, to, to help do that. Um, you know, I think uh, what I'll, I'll close by saying is that um, we are prepared to, to march together. Um, there will be more information that we'll have next week and that we'll share with uh, Imam Safad and Sister Nana about um, opportunities to create artwork that we can carry as as part of our marching. Um, and again, to repeat how how deeply grateful we are that uh, that that the Muslim community is is an important part of our multi-faith contingent, and how much we're looking forward to marching with you, and how honored we would be if the Muslim community and contingent would would be the lead of the faith, the multi-faith contingent in Washington. So, why did I stop there? And Nana, I'd be glad to say anything more if it would be helpful or, or just enjoy um, listening in for the next 10 minutes or so before I have to go. Yeah, oh, well, thank you, Reverend Fletcher. We really appreciate your time. Uh, I know like this is a busy week uh, for our Christian brothers and sister, and I really appreciate that you uh, make your time to join in the webinar. And um, 
So I would like to invite uh, Brother Safed to uh, share with us why is it important for Muslim to be part of this. But before that, I know that uh, uh, Sister Sahar As Al Aslani is actually on on the on this call also. I'm going to unmute uh, afterward, but uh, right now just for the recording because we need to have you know like no uh, background noise and then if i unmute everybody then uh, you know like everything all the noise is coming and it's very hard to to listen so like sahar hang in there i will unmute you afterwards okay so uh brother safed uh please uh, take us along thank you sister nana i hope you can hear me yes yes alhamdulillah Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Peace and blessings be upon all of you. And thank you, Reverend Fletcher, for the introduction. And, and it's always wonderful to work together as people from the different faith traditions across the, uh, the, the faith community and to work in, in, in cooperation and in common cause for something that is near and dear to all of our hearts and to all of our existences, and that is our common home the planet Earth. Um, why should Muslims participate at the PCM? Well, there's a whole host of reasons, and we've sent out various email distributions um, to Muslim leadership and Muslim community members across the country um, with, with reminders about our responsibilities to the Earth and to one another, and our responsibilities to our Creator as, 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 as God's stewards upon the earth. And this is a, a, a function and a role that is not just given to the Muslim community, it's given to all human beings, to all homo sapiens. And we are to here to be stewards, to be caretakers, and protectors and guardians of the earth. And this is common to all of our faith traditions. But what I'd like to specifically focus on is a, is a verse that we, we have decided to, will be the theme of the Muslim uh, participation in the in the in this particular people's climate march um, as you know we had done the other people's climate march a few years ago um, at the united nations and the results were people power did move the world to take a decision to protect the planet in ways that were not imagined before and we're looking for that same people power people power that includes people of faith praying together working for our common home for our common future so this is one of the, the verse that we've selected to be a theme for this. Uh, we're inspired to select to be a theme for this uh, march and Muslim participation, and I will share some reflections with you on that. Audhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. Wa ibadu al-Rahmanilladina yamshuna ala al-ardi hawna Until the end of the verse. And the servants of the, this is from Surah Al-Fulqan, chapter 25, verse 63. And the servants of the merciful, or the most gracious, are those who walk upon the earth softly, easily. Those who walk upon the earth with humility towards the Creator and with humbleness towards all of creation. As Muslims, we are directed by Allah and the Holy Quran, specifically in this verse, which was revealed over some 1400 years ago, to put into practice a policy of living a healthy and wholesome life and adopting an ethic of conservation and restraint which reduces our overconsumption and corresponding waste and is characterized by adopting a low impact lifestyle upon the earth. This includes reducing one's carbon footprints. By reducing with the view of eliminating our reliance on and use of dirty fossil fuels, specifically coal, oil, and yes, even natural gas, through burning as sources of our expanding energy needs, in particular electricity, and replacing them with clean renewable energy sources like wind and solar. This action will not only ensure our continued viable existence as human beings on planet Earth, what the Prophet Muhammad referred to as Um, our mother, and this is also a reference that is often used by First Nations peoples as well in reference to Mother Earth. 
but also our common home, as Pope Francis has put it recently in his Laudato Se, his encyclical upon the, on the environment. But by carrying out this responsibility and transferring to renewable, clean renewable energy sources, we will also secure a better, healthier, safer, and secure future for all of our children and our children's children. The realization of the existential threat that climate change poses to planetary life did not escape the leaders of all the world's nations, including our own, the United States of America, when they, prodded, when they were prodded and pushed by we the people in New York and in other parts of this great world of ours, decided collectively at the COP negotiations in Paris in 2015 to enter into the most sweeping international agreement in history to aggressively reduce the anthropogenic human cause in the Quranic ter terminology, the adiness, that which is caused by the that actions which the hands of men have done. To reduce the human caused CO2 emissions and other greenhouse gases, which enter into the very air that we breathe. And they did so not as general words or phrases, but develop specific targets for each country and timelines so that we as a human race may avoid the two degrees Celsius rise in the Earth's temperature, above which scientists agree there, should, there would be no return, the beginning of the end of us all. May God protect us from that. As part of this transformation to a new green economy, we must mitigate and ameliorate the harmful effects of climate change that disproportionately impact our most vulnerable populations, including our children and the working class poor, peoples of color and frontline communities. For these are those among our brothers and sisters in humanity that are most at risk. We need to work to make their lives, their habitats, their workplaces more resilient and self-sustaining. It was in defense it was with and in defense of these disenfranchised members of the human family, the most vulnerable communities, that our Prophet Muhammad Mustafa al Mahmoud al Mukhtar, alayhi salatu was salam, peace and blessings be upon him, stood with, stood for, and protected most. He reminded us, dear brothers and sisters, in numerous hadith, saying that our blessings and successes, our material achievements, our material lives in this world, those of us who have, as they are sometimes categorized, is only due to the fact that we have treated the poorest and most vulnerable amongst us, the so-called have-nots, with compassion, mercy, justice, and fairness. And that Allah is with our hurting brothers and sisters in faith and humanity. So that is where we need to be as well. We must also demand that necessary education and job training programs be put in place for all those who need to transition to the new green economy. We do truly believe, and facts bear this out, that green makes green, if you know what I mean. Let me say that again. That green makes green, if you know what I mean. Investments in renewable energy create far more jobs per dollar invested than investments in fossil fuels, and renewable energy transition results in cleaner air and water. Climate change harms all of us here today and threatens our children and our children's children. So let us organize, mobilize, and march. Engage in what Islam calls muhasaba. This is a forgotten and central aspect, of, though it is a central aspect and practice of our faith. In the larger in the larger language, it is described as in joining and speaking out for that which is good, right, and just, and protesting, speaking out against that which is wrong, unjust, and unfair. Let us, as Rabbi Abraham Joshua Herschel, and this is the week of Passover as well as the Holy Week for the Jewish community, as well as the Holy Week for our Christian brothers and sisters. Passover celebrates and commemorates the freedom and liberation of Ben Israel, the children of Israel, under the leadership of Moses from the tyrannical forces of Pharaoh of his day and, lead, and, and into liberation. In a similar way, the Holy Week commemorates 
the, 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 the life, the sacrifice, the death, and according to Christian teachings, the resurrection of Jesus Christ and his triumph in the end against the forces of oppression of his times. Let us remember, dear brothers and sisters, that Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, who marched with Martin Luther King, made the observation that we need to pray with our feet. And while we give proper attribution to this phrase, we also recognize that that is basically what we as Muslims do, for example, when we make Hajj. It is a prayer with our feet. Tawaf is not made by bowing and prostrating in Ruku and Sujood. It is made by walking, standing in this position that is straight, recognizing our responsibility to our Lord and walking together in a focused, in a coordinated way towards accomplishing things upon this earth for the benefit of all. For the best of us, Khairun Nas, Menyen Farun Nas, are those who are most benefit to humanity. We need to join with the hundreds, no, let me correct myself, with the hundreds of thousands of people of conscience and faith from all sectors of American society and walks of life, and also with the citizens from across the globe and around the world, and march on April 29th for climate justice and for the earth which we all share and which all of it is Allah's masjid, al-ard kulluha masjidah. The earth, the entirety of it is a masjid for ourselves, for our families, for our communities, for our neighbors, for our society, for our nation, for our world, for all of creation. Next slide, please, Nana. Am I still on? Can you still hear me? Okay, she's muted. How specifically uh, can Muslims participate in the march? First and foremost, you must, be you must seek to register your organization and register yourselves. To date, about 100,000 people have registered to participate in the march in Washington, D.C., and there are sister marches. I think there's over 200 of them taking place across the nation. Here on the East Coast of the United States, we're trying to encourage, uh, in keeping with the uh, guidelines put forth by the March Organizing and Steering Committee, to in, have as many of our folks move and transport ourselves to Washington, D.C. as possible, because it is critical we make our presence known at the White House, at Congress, at the seats of power, and let them know that we are here to march for the earth and for climate justice. So the first thing you need to do to your brothers and sisters, if you have not done so already, is to register your masjid and community at peoplesclimate.org. Second, so you may be aware of the, of the updates and the most current information with regard to the march and the organizing, as well as a, a whole host of resources um, that you can access to provide you additional information and ways and means by which you can participate you need to subscribe to the PCM Face listserv, and we give you the, um, the, the link there, and it will be also sent out as part of the um, recording that will be given and provided to every one of you who registered to attend this webinar. You can also join us on our Facebook page. Thirdly, you need to take shura. وَأَمَرُهُمْ shura بَيْنَهُمْ Allah says in the Holy Quran, that all of our matters, all of our decisions within the Muslim community should be taken as through the process of mutual consultation. So consult, decide, act. Your leadership within, the Mus within your communities and your masjids, within your homes and households, needs to sit down and talk together. Have a specific meeting to discuss ways and means, if you have not done so already, by which you can participate in the People's Climate March. And then to act upon that, to actively promote the march and mobilize the members of your community to take part in it. Now, there are many ways that you can participate in the march. Of course, we are encouraging, very much so, all Muslim community members and Muslim citizens, especially on the East Coast areas um, that are not too far from Washington, D.C., to come to Washington, D.C., and be part of this movement to march for climate change and to demand that our economy going forward is an inclu inclusive economy that provides safe, clean, healthy, sustainable jobs for 
our, 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 ourselves, our neighbors, our friends, and all Americans. We are looking forward to finding, there are also other ways that you can participate in the march. For example, we, we are encouraging and we have spoken with some of the members of the various Muslim communities, specifically in the DC area, as to possibly opening up their masajids, their schools for uh, people who are coming from out of town. In Islam, we have a proud tradition of honoring our guests and our, 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 those who come from other places. Uh, this is called as Ekram Daif in our religious terminology, the honoring and the generosity towards our guests. So if you have the opportunity and the ability, open up your massages and your schools to play host to uh, out-of-town travelers who will be coming specifically for the march. Muslim and non-Muslim, it's a chance for us to work together. Um, you can provide that information at the PCM website, um, which allows you to explain different ways that you can share. And the most important way, though, that we are calling upon everybody, and I'm saying this over and over again, it is so important that we have a strong turnout of our Muslim community members at this march. Our other faith partners in the, in the faith contingent for the march have reached out to us and are, are requesting our participation in a, in a very real way. And because of a lot that has happened these days with regard to the Muslim uh, the impacts of, of, of the current administration's decisions on Muslim life and Muslim community activities and Muslim immigration, et cetera, they are, are encouraging us and have, have requested that we take a, a leading role in, 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 in leading the faith contingents, which will represent all the different faiths, into the actual march itself as we march, and Donna's going to give you more details regarding the march. There is also a weekly webinar that takes place every Monday for members of faith communities from 5.30 to 6.30, where updates regarding how the faith communities are, 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 are dealing with various issues and organizing different programs connected to before and also after the People's Climate March are taking place. Of course, we would like everything to be done electronically because we are very conscious of our green responsibilities. but. That being said, we know many masjids have bulletin boards that you have in and out of the mosque. We're asking that you can also take the opportunity in, in areas that have a lot of heavy traffic in your mosque, in your school, in, in your community uh, center, to post flyers, both electronically as well as physically, and to make announcements specifically after Salatul Jummah uh, on Fridays, but also on Saturdays and Sundays after your weekend school or during the time of the of, of the congregational prayers like Zohar prayer. Lastly, try to encourage as many members of your family and community to sign up to attend the march. You can do so on, on, on sign up sheets. You can also do so online. You should do so on both of these. Also, and Nana will go into more details regarding this, Sister Nana will go into more details regarding this. Buses are being organized from around the country. I think to date we have uh, over 300 buses, we are told by the national organizers that have already registered to come to DC. They're expecting as many as five to 600. And other people are also coming on other means of mass transportation, including through trains and also through carpooling. Uh, the DC area community in particular uh, can afford itself of the metro service that is available down in that area. Um, and will allow easy transport to the locations of the march. So please take the time, make the effort, register yourself and your family, and become part of this great movement to protect our nation, our families, our community, and our future, and to help America fulfill its commitments and responsibilities made in Paris, made before the world, to ensure that the future of our children and our children's children is bright. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brother Safet, uh, for uh, the explanation why Muslim needs to be part of this march. This is very important. And like uh, Reverend Fletcher mentioned in the beginning that all the other faith members actually ask us to, uh, as Muslim communities, to lead the faith contingents uh during this march so we need 
many, many and you know, big numbers for all of you to ask your community, to invite your community, to encourage your community to come. And uh, so I just want to share a, a little bit about who's uh, like, you know, coordinate, like the doing the coordination for this March. So uh, as uh, I introduced earlier, Reverend Fletcher, so like for the faith group of this uh, People's Climate March, uh, there, there are two coordinate, coordinators, Green Faith and Interfaith Power and Light. So Interfaith Power and Light in uh, DC area, it's, lead, uh, it's led by Joel Novi. So there's uh, her uh, email over there. If you live in the DMV area, you can contact her. She's very helpful. And then like for Muslim coordinators, there are me, myself, Nana, uh, Brother Safed, and uh, Sister Sahar. Uh, which I will unmute uh, very soon, so she can share also uh, her thought and and then like uh, and then like uh, Sister Latifa uh, Begum uh, from Islamic Relief uh, in, uh, worldwide, uh, based in London, but she's going to be there on the weekend of this March, so she's going to help out on the communication and also media engagement. And these uh, others uh, other names that I put here. Uh, are the contact of uh, people that uh, we can engage. Like for example, Sister Muna Rahman from uh, Green Muslims uh, in DMV area. She's, uh, she's very helpful if you have any question or you want to like uh, coordinate for if you live in the DMV area or with brother uh, Tariq Zahran from Islamic Relief USA. And from New York City, there's uh, from Justice for All brother adam carroll he's also uh he has like a lot of uh you know in, in involved in a lot of pre-march activities in new york there's a lot of pre-march activity in new york so if you live in new york new jersey area probably you should check that out uh that's uh, usually posted in uh in the people's uh people's climate uh dot org uh facebook and also like website and uh, another one is uh, Brother Asarif Nasif. He's, uh, he's from CARE, uh, uh, Pennsylvania, based in Philadelphia. He's actually planning to show some uh, Earth-related movie to the Muslim community uh, in Philadelphia to encourage everyone to come. So I, I really appreciate his all his effort to do this, to kind of like invite Muslim and to give the understanding that we need to be part of this as a, as a Muslim uh, contingent. And there's like, uh, uh, Brother Savin mentioned a little bit about the buses info. So far, uh, they're, uh, they're uh, already like, uh, you know, like we have like approximately 600 buses to the march from all over uh, like different parts of the country. Uh, as far as Chicago, I think in the Midwest, and then you know because we also have uh, like 200 sister marches around around the, the nation also, and I think like some part are also like in other part of uh, the world, and uh, so all the bus uh, drops and pickup is going to be in RFK um, uh, Stadium in in Washington D.C. So uh, the buses will be coming uh, uh, entering Washington D.C. between uh, seven o'clock to 10 o'clock in the morning. So you have to go to the peoplesclimatemarch.org, uh, sorry, peoplesclimate.org slash transportation to check uh, which buses that you can take. You can actually, I think uh, you can just put your zip code and then it's going to come out with the information. And um, and then uh, like once uh, we are in, in DC because the bus is going to stop uh, a little bit far from from the you know like from from the the capital so uh it's i think like it's about uh three miles so well if you can walk but if you don't feel like walk since you're going to be marching you can take the the metro and then this this is the the link for to buy the metro card which is recommended because we don't want people to uh line up just to buy metro card uh that morning because that's like hundreds and uh you know hundreds and thousands of people that we're expecting uh to be in in the march so and and another one is like you know as muslim uh what to wear so we are uh we are agree for for the muslim contingents we are going to wear white clothing so and then if you wear hijab the scarf 
the headscarf, please uh, like wear white color, like if possible, also wear white clothing and also like the brothers, if you can wear white kufi. So everything is like white, we want to wear white and then uh, I will uh, make a reference on, on the hadith on this, why uh, we are wearing white and, and Brother Safid can explain more if if necessary and um and also please uh don't forget to bring a prayer mat if you can bring just the light one if you have the light one and bring water because then we're going to uh walk and um why we need to bring prayer mat mat because we're going to make a salatul zuhur so i will explain in the next slide and uh that's the the don'ts don't bring anything metal sharp hard object uh, and um, for your sign uh, signage, for example, if you want to, uh, you know, have any signage or or anything, uh, because because the the security is very concerned about that. And so please use cardboard and anything that is not uh, dangerous, no metal, no hard object, no sharp object. And also, like, please don't bring any big backpacks because they're very suspicious with big backpacks. Uh, if you need to bring anything, like uh, try to get that clear, transparent plastic ones for like, you know, the backpacks, they usually have it. And um, another important thing is that, uh, that we want to highlight here and uh, later uh, Sister Sahar uh, can explain like, you know, why Muslim, like who's coming for the annual nation, uh, nation uh, Muslim Advocacy Day uh, in Capitol Hill on March 1st and March 2nd, uh, May, sorry, May 1st and May 2nd to come early, two days early to the nation capital because it's really important for the for Muslim community to be part of this big movement and to show that we also as Muslim, we care for this planet and we care for the future of this country and the future of this planet and also for future generation. So please uh, encourage anyone who's coming for the annual nation um, Muslim Advocacy Day on the 1st and 2nd May to come early uh, today, two days early to, to Washington DC so they can join the march. And uh, this, is, this is the hadith that I mentioned, uh, why we have to, you know, like why we are uh, uh, deciding to to uh, wear uh, white clothing because in uh, in the hadith that uh, you know wearing white is uh, the best garment. So then we want to you know make you know make sure that it is very um, like uh, it is very uh, like you know um, clear that you know Muslim contingents like we all wear white. So please uh, tell everyone who's coming to wear white uh, to to the march and. Um, so this is like this is what's going to happen in in the march. It's still being um, developed like in details, but this is like uh, probably like in general. This is what uh, what how it's going to happen. So like we are, we will uh, all coming like uh, people will come in groups like uh, in buses. Uh, from 7 to 10 and then 11 o'clock we will all gather in front of the Capitol building and then we're going together based on groups so there's like I think like up to nine groups now so like there's like justice group there's uh, there's uh, like um, uh, food and farm groups there's uh, like labor union and then there's faith groups. so like they all like hold their own issue uh, so then you know like we make sure we will have a sign where people will gather for the faith group. So we want Muslims to join the faith groups because we're going to, like Muslim is going to lead the faith groups on the march. So then uh, 1230 uh, is predicted that um, the march will begin. And then like by 130, we're planning to surround the White House, uh, like encircling and then surround, you know, like so uh, everyone is going to be encircled the White House and uh and then like you know like kind of like have like our demand on that and and at that time we're still working on that uh but we are planning to hold a uh, salatul zuhur in jama'a so in congregation over there and uh so then you know like to also like to show that uh like you know like 
this is like you know the earth is a mosque you know like so then you know like uh, we are going to have uh uh salat al zuhur in in the open area and i think if I, i'm not mistaken the the start for the the paid contingents uh which will led by the muslim contingent is going to start by uh you know like having the sound of adhan being called and also like the recitation of the quran uh in the beginning uh before we leave uh before we we walk uh, as the faith contingent so that's why again we need all of you to like you know to encourage everyone all the muslim communities all your you know masjids and islamic centers to join uh to join us in washington dc on april 29th and hopefully inshallah by the uh three o'clock we all uh you know like um reconvene in uh washington monument where they will have like different kind of activities all like you know they will have like uh, small stages where they have like music and other sharing stories uh from the frontline communities so like these are communities that's already ex experiencing climate change and also like you know like uh like economic uh, crisis uh, because of climate change so uh those are um the the you know like the the sequence that is going to happen on the march so before i go to uh i think like we have time for q a but i will unmute and then we'll uh, invite sister sahar uh to share or to add anything if uh uh if i miss our brother safed miss anything sister sahar are you there oops okay assalamu alaikum sister sahar are you there are, are you there hmm. he's not there okay so well um if she's not there then um i have unmute everyone so if anybody has a question they can um uh, ask the question here does anybody have any question So does anybody have any questions? No? Or, um, yeah, I think I'll unmute everybody. So, uh, yeah, so Brother Safed, anybody, anything else you want to uh, add on, on this? To um, we, we received a note from uh, our brother El Sharif Nessa from uh, uh, Philadelphia area from Care Philly. And he's informing us that Care Philly is actually sponsoring a bus from Allentown to Philadelphia. Oh, oh, to DC. So I uh, just wanted to share that information. Uh, with regard to coordination of pickup and drop off points, your best bet, uh, Brother Sharif, is to reach out directly through the PCM uh, national website to the uh, bus. Um, they have a specialist in transportation and the arrivals for buses and giving out necessary bus permits. So you, you, your best bet is to reach out directly to them and they can speak to that issue. They are very, very responsive with regard to emails, uh, a little less responsive with regard to phone calls, um, but inshallah, that would be your best bet. And I would encourage everybody to try to take public transportation. Um, I know from the Jersey area, we have, I think, close to 30, 40 buses organized by different organizations and communities um, leaving from different cities and towns. Um, you can find that information on jerseyrenews.com, or you can just, once again, type in your zip code, as Sister Nana said, on the PCM National website, and you'll get a lot of that information. Uh, round trip from Jersey runs anywhere from $40 to $50, but there are usually scholarship seats that are also available on some of the buses uh, for that. Now, one of the wonderful things about this, this movement is it's just that, it is a movement. And if you may recall, there was a statement of uh, the second Khalifa of Islam, Omar bin al-Khattab, in which he said, you never really get to know somebody until you do two, three, three things with them. One, you've engaged in some sort of business with them, business transaction. Second, you've traveled with them. And then third, you spend overnight with them in some sort of sleeping arrangements. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a way to get to know one another uh, amongst the larger brotherhood and sisterhood of humanity. 
um, and I really encourage Muslim uh, participants to do so. One of the things we found over and over again, and the surveys and, and the research has told us, is that when people interact physically, directly, socially uh, with Muslims, they ha tend to have a lot better impression of what Muslims are than what they get from the media. So um, it's a way in which you can do dawah, which means to inform and explain and share our faith and our traditions with others and come to know, develop relationships with people that will last a lifetime. Um, because we are all on this bar boat together, on this ark together known as Earth, and um, there's no way to get off of it. And so we need to find ways and means by which we can develop more positive, constructive, dynamic, and supportive relationships of one another. Thank you, Brother Safed. Okay, there's somebody's, um, okay. Oh. Oh yeah, there's a question from Emily uh, about the Islamic scholars who's going to, uh, is there any Islamic scholars uh, who will be attending uh, this climate march? And uh, for example, like we had uh, Imam Zayed Shakir in New York uh, in uh, 2014. So uh, are we going to have any, um, um, like, you know, our, our Suyu, our Imam, our Ulama, Brother Safed on that? Yeah, we don't have confirmation yet, but I can say that all the imams and the religious leaders and community leaders inside and outside of D.C. at the national, local, and regional levels have been informed about the march. Um, imam Zaid specifically mentioned that he was planning to come. I think there's other imams that will be planning to be there. Unlike the march in New York City, we will have a lot less access to sound systems, per se, not just for the overall march, but uh, also for the religious and faith faith contingents. So in New York City, if those of you remember that you were involved in the People's Climate March, we had a very relatively large size, large size stage with a very powerful sound system. That's not going to be the case at this march. Uh, we are looking for more symbolic actions, and the march itself will be the focus and will be the message of the movement. Um, so once again, scholars have been invited to come, and um, many of the mushes in, in Washington, D.C. area will be opening their doors to marchers that are coming from around the country. Um, exactly who will be there, we don't have a who's who's list yet, but we encourage you to invite as many and encourage as many of your leaders in your communities to come as possible. So perhaps you can share with us like who are the, the Muslim scholars that we are engaging that uh, you know from the local DC uh, area, um, so then per perhaps like you know some of the participants could encourage them to be part of the march. So, brother Safed, well, uh, well, we're we're hopefully expecting Imam Johari, for example, Imam Majid from Adam Center, Imam Johari, uh, who's from the Dar al Hijra community. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we're expecting some of the leadership from Care and from MPAC as well to be present at mm -hmm. the march, um, as well as the United. Uh, a Muslim Council, uh, Muslim organizations, uh, which is a composite of various uh, national and local or regional uh, Muslim organizations. So they're all aware of it, mm -hmm. um, but those are some of the names that we've been, we've been in direct contact with in the DC, greater DC, uh, Maryland, Virginia area. Okay, thank you. And Sayyid so Muhammad Sayyid also from ISNA as well. I oh, yeah, um, and then also I think Imam Tali from the Muhammad Mosque, Yes, in, the in nation's capital, Mosque, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, so um, do we have any other question from uh, the participants? Because I think, let me see, uh, we still have like a few more minutes uh, in the webinar. So if any questions or anything uh, that, uh, okay, I see the question, hold on. Um, okay, let me see. Um, let me see, where's the question? Uh, hold on, bear with me. Um, also like, uh, so um, yeah, so like we're hoping that uh, our Imam, like, you know, our Suyuk are going to be there. And um, so, uh, oh, okay. So yeah, so, oh, it's just Emily. She said like, she, she was about to mention about Imam Talib, sorry, from, uh, uh, Masjid Muhammad and I just mentioned it. Yeah, so like those are the Imams and the local Imams that we are 
uh, you know, like already brother Safed already uh, engaging, and you know, like so, like you know, inshallah, we pray that they will come and you know march with with us because you know it's very important. And then if you are from the DC, uh, like you know, local DC area, if you can meet with these imams, please, you know, like um, make sure, like encourage them to be part of this march because we really uh, hope that they will be there uh, with us and also showing like you know like all uh, you know like uh, support uh, together with other uh, uh, faiths you know like uh, we, we are fighting this you know like this issue together not just like uh, the muslim but with others and also with other groups uh, in in uh, in in april 29th uh, in washington dc so and um yeah so um also, I think like um, oh, Emily mentioned yeah. the Seika yeah. Zainab Alwani in yes, uh, who is the in Howard University. So if we can you know, once, uh, once again, all these uh, you're mentioning name sister, and and we would encourage you to do so. All these names have been reached out to via mm -hmm. email distribution list. I can testify to the names that you have listed: mm -hmm. Imam Talib Sharif, Imam Sheikh Zainab Alwani, mm -hmm. uh, Imam Majid. Uh, we have the director of the American Islamic Heritage Museum, Amir Muhammad, mm -hmm. uh, the secretary of the D.C. Council of Muslim Organizations, uh, Imam Fazlur Khan, and, and many others. Mm -hmm. um, while we try to reach out through email and through phone calls, uh, Dr. Isan Bagbi from, uh, and the members of the Green Mosque Task Force of the Islamic Side of North America. So everyone has been reached out to, and, and we, we've received indications of their, of their willingness to provide support but the details are, are, are not forthcoming yet. Yeah. So we encourage the community because we are the, we are the religion of the jama'ah. The jama'ah mm -hmm. means the people speak, the imam listens. So mm -hmm. we encourage you, while we reach out to the imams and leaders, we're, we're asking the community members to make a grassroots push to encourage their leadership to come out and make it a day for the family. You know, this is a family-friendly march. Right. You're not expecting right. any sort of major incidents there. Right. Organizers are organizing in that way because this is a march for our children and our future, and yeah. they have to be a part of it. And this yeah. is one of the best ways which we can socialize and, and politically socialize ourselves as Muslims in, the, in, in, in America and, and find that through coalition building, through connections to other faiths, to other sectors of societies, of the society, we can strengthen our cause and their cause, which is the same cause, providing a safe, secure future for our children, not only in terms of the physical locations that they live, but also in terms of the air they breathe, the water they drink, the food they eat. Yeah, so uh, I, I just got a message from Sister Sahar. She had to leave early, so she says, uh, you know, like she apologized, but, you know, like she's going to be one of the uh, the key person also that uh, all of you can uh, connect with. And probably, probably Brother Safed, the last one before uh, we close, uh, if you can like uh, like explain a little bit like how we're going to make our Salat al uh during the march. Like what is the what is the the technical uh, thing that we're like you know what we're going to have. Right, exactly. Um, once again, it's still a work in progress in terms of working with the planning group, and you never know exactly with the march how things flow. But the plan right now is that once the marchers reach the ca reach the White House, um, they will encircle the White House and engage in some symbolic uh, uh, actions. Um, because once again, the microphone system is not available when we get to the White House. Mm -hmm. So there's no, set, there's no stage or microphone system. So they engage in some sort of symbolic actions and the faith communities that are going to be part of that larger march contingent, faith contingents will engage in prayers. Um, we are reclaiming this space as sacred space. And as Muslims, we are already told that the entire earth, including the White House, including every place, is God's house and in God's house there are many rooms and in those rooms are peoples of all faiths of all traditions of all nations of all backgrounds so it's the way of the various faith the diversity of the faith reclaiming that space through prayer and during that time whether it's 130 145 I don't know exactly during that time we will try to be organizing the Muslim Salat al-Zuhr in the midst of that circle which we will be encircled by our brothers and sisters from other faiths so we are encouraging people to bring their sajadas, their jan namaz with them. And also we're gonna to try to make arrangements, hopefully for some sort of a tarp system to be set up 
so we can do our Salat al-Zuhr there. And um, after that um, period, we will then uh, continue with the, with, with the rest of the contingents and march to, uh, to the Washington Monument. Yeah. Um, of course, this is weather dependent. Uh, the march will go on no matter what, but it'll be difficult to actually operationalize the prayer if it's heavy rain at that time. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, yeah. knows best, but for Salat al-Zuhr in Jama'a, inshallah, in congregation at the White House, approximately 1.30, 1.45, around that time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Brother Safet. And uh, also, there's like a concern about disab uh, disabilities, like, you know, for uh, disabled, like if you... If any participant has disabled, like um, so, th this is the thing. When you uh, when it, you know, this is the important thing. Why people need to register in peoplesclimate.org because there is like when you fill it up uh, the the form, that's uh, you know like your emails and you know like other like just like uh, you know like simple uh, information about yourself. Uh, that's that's the part where like you know if you need like you know special needs or something so then they will you know like the the organizer will will have you know will be known about that and then you know they have a you know kind of like um you know like a special thing for for that so like you know like yes we have uh thought about that you know like people with disabilities and you know like other physical you know like um challenge so Absolutely, it will be fa family friendly. It will be disability people yeah. with disabilities and 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 various uh, physical challenges will 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 be provided for right. as well. Um, mm -hmm. Once again, the faith contingent is just one contingent of the many many contingents that are part of the march. And I echo Nana's statement: please register, indicate the details of their situation, and they have a whole teams that are working on dealing with the issues of of people who are facing physical challenges uh, and and physical disabilities so they will be able to fully participate and benefit from the march right yeah yes so um before we end this uh i would like to also uh, invite everyone here to join next week a uh, webinar the from the islamic uh, society of north america the green masjid task force task force we which uh brother Safed and uh myself also a member of the task force so we are you know in honor uh in honoring uh the uh the earth day uh on april 9th uh on wednesday we're going to have a webinar at uh, 8 p.m uh eastern time zone and uh so please please uh you know like uh join in and there's the link here is na.clickmeeting.com slash earth day slash register to register for for the webinar so then you all can also uh you know like uh, uh listen to the uh the uh presenter uh sister huda alkaf why muslim uh need to care uh for this earth like uh and why is that our responsibility so with that uh i would like to close this uh webinar and i would Ask Brother Safed to make a uh, dua to close this uh, this uh, gathering today. Yes, so as, as you know, we are in the uh, month of Rajab, uh, one of the one of the four sacred months in which in which Muslims are encouraged to do even more good than they did in other months. Historically, it was the month of the lesser of the pilgrimages, that is the Umrah, dating back to the time of Sayyidina Ibrahim, alayhi salam. Um, it is a time of reflection. It is a time of activism for peace and for uh, moving towards a direction of being in harmony with oneself, one's neighbors, one's environment, and one's, uh, one's creator and one's family. And we should take advantage of this month of Rajab. When the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi reached the month of Rajab, he would say this dua, and I conclude it with that. Allahumma barak lana fi Rajab wa Sha'ban. Ramadan. O oh Allah, grant us the blessings of Rajab and the month of Shaban and grant us the life to live until Ramadan so that we will partake of its blessings. And our traditional way of closing meetings, Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdi, ashadu an la ilaha illa ant, astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayh. And we remind each other until we see one another again, hopefully at the march, if not sooner, with Surah al Well Asr. إن الإنسان لا في خص إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتوسّب الحق وتوسّب الصبر. By time, as it runs forward and escapes us, 
Verily, humanity is in a state of loss except for those who believe and work righteousness and do good deeds. And marching in April 29th is the good deed. And encourage each other to truth and encourage each other to patience. Wassalamu alaikum. Wassalamu alaikum. Thank you. And thank you all for joining us today. So we'll see you in the March in Washington, D.C. on April 29th. Thank you. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.